up dudes. I didn't sleep very much. I fell asleep uploading my video last night and then woke up at 9 to like publish it. It was meant to go up last night, I apologise, I just fell asleep. I was very tired from the sheep fiasco. Very slow morning for me, I'm only now getting outside. I had to really push myself, like it's so sunny today for once, finally, it's been raining for weeks. We're having a heat wave for the next few days, I'm very excited, it's about to be the hottest day of the year in the UK. So we are going for a hike, because when I have no energy, I hike. Doesn't really make any sense, but that's what we're doing, and I wanted to bring you with me. I thought this is a nice place to start the intro, we're already like 30 minutes into this walk. See this mountain right here? We have to go over that mountain, th that mountain, and there's a lake on the other side with some even taller mountains. And then we're at the location, basically. So we have to kind of find a path. I don't remember how to get there. We're gonna figure it out together. I have Mr. Jasper with me. He's also very tired today, but he's agreed, I think, to come along. Really epic trees, like prehistoric palms. Very nice. It's a dragon someone's carved. Amazing. Really cool. It's lovely and warm. I just wish I had the energy. I can barely talk. I'm stumbling quite a lot. We finally found the path. It was difficult to get to. And now we go over the mountain and then we come down into the valley where the lakes are. And then that's our destination, really. I love these little Welsh paths. You know the part in The Hobbit where Bilbo decides to run after the convoy and he's like got his contract in his hand and he's running by going like I'm going on an adventure yeah I always feel like that <laughs> when, I'm, when I'm walking through the Welsh hills going over that I don't remember how but I think maybe the back we go over it's nice to be able to see the skies again we found it that's the trail right there well, I was looking everywhere for this one. Completely hidden. This is the mountain that we have to cross. It's quite beautiful. I am so freaking tired. I can barely move my body at this point. <coughs> Why did talking upside down make me sneeze? Okay, we're about to enter into the woods over there. I'm still rather lost. I kind of know where I'm going, but I'm just like floating along in a daze at the moment. I, I wish I could stop complaining about it. <laughs> this path is awesome. That's the forest we're about to go in. It's a completely different atmosphere in there. It's much cooler, cooler as well. Because the sun doesn't really penetrate. Oh, just going uphill with no energy is so difficult. We seem to be a bit stuck. We were meant to go through the woods. We've somehow ended up going around them. And now we've reached a corner piece. I'd like to just go in there. I mean, we could. We don't need a trail, really. Also, there's a horse fly that's showing a lot of interest in me. See, right there. Bit me twice already. Yeah. Alright, we found a bit of a trail. I'm just gonna follow this wall up. It probably doesn't look like anything to you guys, but this is a path for us. It's a bit slippery. Alright, we've come to the top. <laughs> this is not the direction we're supposed to be going. We're supposed to be going through. Ah, dang it. We found a footpath though. starting to feel much better. Feels good to be in the woods and a different wood to the which I'm used to. I've been here before, it's really nice. Like the wind coming through kind of picks me up, lifts my mood. Yeah, if anyone out there is ever feeling, ever feeling sad, 
try go to a forest, like a forest that you're not used to, preferably like a really big, deep forest, big trees, and uh, just walk around, see how, how it makes you feel. You don't have to do anything specific. You don't even need any kind of intention, just go into the forest, and then come out the other side and see how you feel. So trying to get over this mountain. We found this little trail here. I think we're gonna follow it. Got some new growth woods coming in. Some new trees, some little baby ones. We are truly lost. I wish I had an aerial view of the directions that I've just walked. We zigzagged everywhere and <laughs> we're still not anywhere near where we're trying to get to. <laughs> like this is, <laughs> this is literally me sleepwalking. I don't know where we are going. I think we're going in the right direction, but we found a new path, a really nice one too. Every time we, we walk through, all the birds kind of scatter. But it's nice up here. I can see these woods from my house, but they're really far away. It's like the furthest point I can see. But yeah, this is a really nice place to trip. So note to self, come to this woods to trip. It's really nice up here. So I don't know what happened here, but a lot of trees have come down. Gee whiz. trail truly goes on forever. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine the wind force necessary to just split a tree like that. And jump. We are seriously going the wrong direction. I couldn't figure out a way out of the woods, so we just jumped over the wall. Yeah, we're trying to get that way. We've gone the complete wrong way. We're literally miles away, but we're gonna continue anyway. We're now following a sheep trail through the mountain. Just was leading. Cool. We just accidentally summited a mountain. Wow. I need to get a rock to contribute. This is our contribution, Jasp, to the pile. Nice. So we didn't make it to where I was trying to get. Instead, we made it to the top of this mountain, which has a very nice view of everything. I'll do a little 360 in a minute. We got so lost. It was meant to be a straight walk for like seven miles or something, and we, we went completely off course many times. I just don't have the energy, like everything already aches from this whole week of shenanigans, so I think tomorrow we're gonna have to stay indoors and do something. I need to build up my energy so I can start doing the tree climbing videos, like that's what I wanna do. But yeah, this is a view of where I live. <laughs> I'll give you a little spin. mountains in the background so we were trying to get down down there but it's, it's another four miles away and I just like and now we found the path I just don't have the energy like I'm done <laughs> so yeah, I don't really have a topic for this video I wanted to say just kind of thanks thanks for hanging out with me every day I felt I felt like I've had company this whole month like I've really like aside from Jasper I felt like I've actually had people with me which is strange because there's no one here but it does feel like, because I know that you guys are going to be watching, it doesn't matter like what I post, you guys are going to be there. Yeah, I just really appreciate it. So another cool thing about this tripod is that I can take Instagram using it. Like this is so useful. This is such a useful tool. I barely post on Instagram as it is. 
that's just because I was so bored of the angles I was getting. Like I'd much, much rather have someone around to take some cool pictures, but now like I can at least do something myself. So yeah, uh, go check my Instagram, see what I posted. <laughs> All right, making our way down. We're going home. I'm actually hitching a ride back just because I don't have the energy to walk the whole way back. I'm near the place where I first learnt how to pick mushrooms. This is like where they came to teach me. It's just funny. I've stumbled across this place again. Check out the beautiful geometry on this. So although I didn't really necessarily accomplish anything today or teach anything. I did come to a few realizations while I was walking around. A lot of the hike that I didn't film was going through small villages. The, the villages tucked away in the hills where you just have trees everywhere and then just houses dotted around. I'm walking through, there's no traffic, there's no cars, what's, there's like no driving. People are riding bikes and just kind of sitting in their front gardens like just doing quarantine stuff. It was very peaceful and it made me realize that village life isn't so bad. Like I, I wouldn't even consider myself living in a village. I don't. I have one neighbor. The village life, tucked away over this, seems nice. I've, n I've never felt like I'll ever have my own house. I've never felt like that. I've always felt like I I'm gonna build my own house, like a little hobbit hole or a tree house or something. I've never considered like just renting out one or buying one. I don't think that's that's my path, but it does seem nice. The how the way people decorate their gardens and their their houses, from from what I saw outside. <laughs> Like just like all the, all the, um, the cacti in the windows and stuff, like banners and things. It seems nice. It kind of clashes with my minimalism thing. I'm worried that if I decide to go down the traditional route and live in a, a box, I will buy stuff, clutter the box, and then not have any money to leave the box. It's kind of the trap everyone gets themselves in. I really don't. I really don't want to do that. But it did, it did seem really nice. The village life up there seems very peaceful. Everyone seems quite, quite content with the way things are right now. And then, as I'm finishing my walk, I pass. Oh, I get a whiff of some incense. I turn my head to see, and then there's just this like young couple sitting in a jacuzzi in their front garden, just watching the sunset. Wow. I haven't smelled incense in like a year. I haven't. I don't burn incense. I mean, not here. I, I used to burn it in my own old place, but I don't know. It made me feel like I. I I want some of that, you know, that, that cozy little house life tucked away in the hills. Welsh village life is very peaceful, but then I'm just thinking, like, well, what do these people do? Like, what are they contributing? They seem to be just be living and living. Obviously, I don't know these people, I don't speak to these people, but it just seems like if you have that kind of lifestyle, what do you do? Like, what are you, how are you making the world a better place if you're just enjoying it? <laughs> is that... Is that just a selfish, weird thing to think? People don't have to necessarily contribute whatsoever. They can just enjoy it, I suppose. I just feel I feel a deep responsibility to do do something. I feel like this place isn't isn't free for everyone. There are so many people struggling out there, and I feel like I can build myself up and get myself to a place where I can help. That's what I really want to do. Whenever I finish these things, I never really have any idea what the video is going to turn out being because I just walk around and film stuff. I don't even remember what I even talked about. But then tonight when I sit down and eat some food, I want to make some pasta by the way, I can, I can bring you guys inside, but I want to eat some food because I was so hungry in the whole hike and then I'm just going to sit down and edit. And that's kind of what I do in the evenings, is I, just, I just watch all the footage for the first time and it's like, oh, yeah, it's quite a nice day. I mean, I, I enjoyed it. It was very warm, I was shirtless pretty much the whole time. Jasper seems exhausted, which is good. That's always my goal. So I guess that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like on the vlog if you want to. If you want to watch yesterday's video, which I actually posted this morning, because it was an accident, um, you can watch that. It was about saving a sheep and using an app called Randonautica, if you've ever heard of it. It's like a TikTok thing. But yeah, if you want to watch that, go watch it. I'll, I'll put it first line in the description. It's called the sheep vlog. <laughs> just, it's not actually called that, but uh, just so you know, it's down there. All right, I'm gonna go inside. So I just finished editing this and realized I didn't actually shoot any kind of outro. I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow, tomorrow's video. I'm here every day.